Hello everyone. So up till now we have discussed the concept of database management system. Okay. So this was the one topic from uh, gate at DSA Libus database management system. So we have discussed that thing. Now we are going to discuss about data warehousing. We are going to stick to our gate at DSA Libus for this. Okay. So this is basically a theoretical topic and you can expect one or two mark question based on this particular topic. And I have already provided the notes for this particular topic. So that is also enough for this particular thing. Okay. Now, before going to discuss about data warehousing, what we are going to do first, we are going to discuss about the concept of data engineering. Okay. What is data engineering? Then what is data warehouse? What is data lake? And then what is data lake house? So first we are going to discuss all those th all those things. And then we are going to discuss data warehousing in detail according to the gate and DS syllabus. Okay. So, but first you should understand why we are using this data warehousing concept. So, first let us discuss what is data engineering. We have a data, we have an engineering here. So, what is engineering? What do you understand by engineering first? If I say I have one system, for example, there is input, right? There is some process or activity I can say and there is some output. Now this system is entire engineering. So this system of input process and output is entire engineering. In few cases we have a feedback system also here like this. Okay, feedback system. Now this system indicates the entire engineering thing. You can take any example. This system will be fit there only. For example, manufacturing of any product for example paint manufacturing if i want to manufacture a paint i want raw material so here i have a raw material then i have to do some process here then some activities right after doing some process on that particular raw material then i will get the pin entire pin or manufacturing pin manufactured pin right so in between this process we have a number of process right inside the process we have different types of input output system right now you can take any example for example our for for example our human body okay now human body is also like this we have an input it, it it do some process and we have an output for example fluid mechanics or thermodynamics or any engineering you can uh, take for example civil engineering also right we have some raw material we do some process then we use this thing for particular uh, construction right so this is what the engineering is. We have an input, we have a process, we have an output. Now input can be from multiple sources also and multiple types of input also. Same here, process can be of multiple types of process and multiple process also. That can be in parallel, that can be in series as well. Same thing in the output. We can get one type of output or different types of output or, or in different forms of output, right? So this is what entire engineering is. Now, in the case of data engineering, the input we have is data. I can say it is raw data, for example. Okay. And this is what the process we are doing. And I have a data from multiple sources, for example. Right. Input 1, input 2, input 3. Right. I have a data from multiple uh, sources. We are processing it. And then we are using that particular output for a multiple applications for example i want to build some ai ml model i can use for that i want to use this data for data analysis purpose i can do that thing i can if i want to uh, use this data further for any data engineering project i can use that thing also right so this is what a data engineering is we have a different types of input for example data in the format of csv json or in the form of sql or structured or no structured data we do some process we convert that data into a required format for building aiml model or for using data analysis or for using data engineering purpose as well right so this is what a data engineering is simple input process and output right so this all are input this all are output right and we can do multiple process here. 
and this process can be linked to another process as well because this output can be considered as an input for another process and again again output uh, can be used for further applications right so in short this entire input process output is basically a engineering and if the input is data then it is a data engineering okay now how we can automate uh, this particular process how we can automate this thing i can take the data automatically i can fetch a data from multiple sources do some process provide some uh, analy analytics or some output right so this is what uh, data engineering is so this is the overall uh, view of data engineering now when we discuss about data engineering there are different types of concept first one is data warehousing what is data warehouse okay then we have data lake what is data lake so this is what we are going to discuss what is data warehouse what is data lake and also we have something called data lake house data lake house so as name suggests data lake house so you can consider it as a combination of data warehouse plus data lake that will be data lake house and this is currently recently uh, used in the applications so if you use any uh, cloud service provider they generally provide this data lake house for example aws or azure or even google they have something called data lake house okay so we are going to discuss uh, this all those things in the upcoming lectures so first we'll discuss about data warehouse data lake and data lake house then we are going to discuss the data warehouse concept in detail according to our gate and ds syllabus so i hope you understand what is data warehouse and what is a data engineering is and here the process i mean we have different process on a data for example filtering or data cleaning is also a topic for normalization so all this thing comes under a process okay so there are different uh, ways to represent data engineering there are different definitions for this but if you understand this particular system that is more than enough for this data engineering is now here just you need to understand how to do the, that particular process process means activity okay that particular activity okay so that's it from this particular lecture we are going to discuss data warehouse in the next video okay thank you